Hello, it's Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create. I'm coming on to do a real, hopefully, quick video on making the easiest hidden paper clips that you'll ever see. So, a lot of people that saw my Christmas album that was posted um, like a week ago, they commented, they asked if I could show how to make these hidden paper clips. They are so easy to make. That was, there was that one, and then, let's see, where was the other one? There was this one. This one's a side, a side one, so like this. So I am going to show you how to make these. You won't believe how easy they are. So first thing you're going to do is just go through your scraps. I'm sure you have lots of scraps, and just try to find ones that kind of go together. They're non, you want non-directional paper because you're going to be folding them. So like, um, let's just pick this one. So this is just some old Stamparia paper and you cut them to the same height. So I think none of mine are longer than six and a half inches, I think. What is this one? This one is like not quite six inches. So most of mine are, are like five and a half to six inches. I think I have one that's longer, uh, but most of them are going to be around six inches. And the width, you want one piece that is just a tad wider than the other piece. So this, this piece is what, one and almost seven eighths, and this one is two. So it's just a tad wider. So this is how they're going to sit. You're going to have a little border, the, the pink the, is the border for the outside. So what you're going to do with these, here I have one that's already folded. So these are the exact same height Again, exact same height. And what you want to do, because I like to have my paper clips. Let me show you again with my paper clip. I like to have one side, one side longer than the other side, so it's easier to slip on like that. So I have one side that's longer than the other, and then it's just easy to slip on like that. So what you're going to do is you are going just get the, this is going to be, this is how they're going to sit. So you're gonna have the top piece and the bottom piece. This is my bottom piece. When you fold it, you're going to fold it so you just have a little edge of this sticking out. So that's just gonna make it a little bit longer than the, the front side. So this is gonna be, say the back, this will be the front. And then you just fold and then score it. What I, oh, and then you're gonna do the exact same thing with this one. You're going to fold it with a little bit of the um, this backside a little bit longer than this one. So they're folded exactly the same also. Pretty easy so far, right? You cut them the same height, you fold them in the exact same place. Next, you're going to open them up, round the corners on all four sides of both of them and ink the edges. I haven't done that with these. I'm going to do that, but let me just show you this one. So here's, here's this piece. How, this one's kind of short. This one is not quite five inches long. This is going to be the exact same um, height. This one is two inches. This one is mm, not quite one and three quarters. So this is going to be like this. 
So I am going to fold this one so I have a little bit of this back part sticking out like that. Fold it, burnish it, and then go ahead and fold this one the exact same place. So you have a little bit sticking out. Fold it and burnish it. And you've got it almost ready. So I think, did I have the other side? Oops, I'm gonna have it like this. Oop, I can't, it's gonna go like this. Not much contrast with those two colors, but we're gonna ink it. So next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to do the same thing with this one. I am going to fold this one so it's a little bit longer on the back side. And you can just get this and go, I'm just going to fold it. Let's see which way did I have this one? So I'm going to fold this the exact same place as this one. Just put it over. Just put it over, Carla, and fold. And that should be about right there. Like that. Fold and burnish this one. Now, what I'm next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my corner rounder and I'm going to round them with my small all all four sides of all all of them. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So I have all four corners rounded and everything has been inked. So you are going to, let's just start with this one. You're going to get the back piece. So this is the back piece. You are going to get a paper clip. This is a small paper clip. So let's see what size this is. This is like a one inch paper clip. So this is just a standard Staples paper clip. That's how it sits. I also have these large ones and I haven't used them yet. So I, this is a two, almost a two inch paper clip. So I'm going to make one today with a two inch. So you're just going to get for these guys. I'm just going to use this little guy. Here is your, your back piece. This back part is a little bit longer than this front part. Get your paper clip and put the long side on the back where it's long. So just put that right in the middle, like that. Get that centered. Now you are going to be applying this top piece right, let's make sure I get right over this piece, like this, to form your paper clip. So what I do, you need to anchor your paper clip so it doesn't move. Now you can anchor it either with glue, which is what a lot of people do. You would just um, get whatever you glue you use and put that in there. And I think that's what I'll, I'll show you how to do that first. So this is the back side. Make sure I get my, my pieces in the right order. So this is the front. And this is my front, so it's gonna go like that. So let's do the back side first. So I am going, to, I want to get this, this paper clip so it doesn't move around. So I am going to put some glue around this paper clip. And then I'm going to put some glue up in here and then seal this down. So let me just get my glue. You can use, your art glitter glue. For whatever reason, it dries so fast. I am so slow. I don't use it because just doing this, it dries too fast for me. 
So I'm just putting a bunch of glue around that piece. So my 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 paper clip doesn't um, move once it dries. Now then I'm just going to put some of this glue on top of this top flap that goes in the front. And then you're just going to fold it over, get it in the middle, and seal it down. And of course, I always adjust it if I need to, because this glue I can adjust and it's sealed down. And I got a lot of glue under there. A lot of glue. So that part's done, and now you have this part. And you're going to do basically the same thing. Put a little bit, say, ooh, my glue spilled out here. I don't want it up there. You're going to put a little bit of glue around this paper clip. Keep it adhered down and then just put your glue on this flap here. I'm almost out of glue here. And I know I put way too much glue. And then you just fold this over and adhere this down and you're going to let it dry. spillage of my glue. I am not a glue person. So we're going to set this aside and let it dry. And now we're going to go on to this one. So here's your top piece. This one's your top piece. This is your bottom piece. Get your bottom piece. Get your paper clip again. Let me burnish this down. Get your um, put the long side again in the back. This time I am going to do something different. I am going to use my black construction tape. So this, someone asked what the black construction tape is. This comes from the UK from my creative spirit. She's a, a, a designer, a mini album designer, Claire Chavel. And that's where Julie gets it from. This is high tack acid free light resistant tape for construction for album making gray board chipboard this works so well and this one roll will last you for a long 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 time so i get my black construction tape i know i have one that's open here it is so i'm just going to cut a little piece off here And I'm going to put my black construction tape over my, <clears throat> my paper clip. And the other thing it does is helps smooth the edges of the paper clip. So that's done. Oh, I just want to make sure I cleared my front. Yes, it's cleared. Okay, good. And now all I have to do is apply my glue. Make sure you have, this is the front, and this is the, this is the front. So make sure you got the front over the front, and it's gonna go like this. Now this one, I might actually use my art glitter glue because I don't have to worry about gluing this down and I'm just going to be folding it over. So let's see if I can actually use my art glitter glue. Just gonna put it on this top flap. Can 
can tell I am not a glue person. I am not a glue person. So this is my front. This is my front. Get that centered and push down. Same thing in the back. The main thing when you put that black construction tape, you just want to make sure you've cleared this, this front flap that goes over it. So this one is done. See how easy these are? And then I'll show you what we do to decorate it in a little bit. So that one's done. And now let's do the pink one. Um, I don't know. Is this... Could I put a large paper clip? Is this one long enough for a large paper clip? Let's see. This is going to be the back side. Yeah. So let's try this large paper clip. I have never used a large paper clip before. So same thing, I'm going to use some black construction tape here. So I'll get my black construction tape out. Put this over, over my clip, my paper clip. Same thing on the other side. The, this is actually, make sure I put my paper. Ooh, look what I did. Look what I did. This is the long side, and I put it in the front. The long side goes in the back. Let me take this off. Good thing I didn't use glue. Okay, Carla, get it right. There. Long side goes in the back. Then do the front. You just don't want that paper clip moving around. So this is the back, this is the front. Good to know. Now you just apply the glue and bring that over. And see, we've already made three. This is so easy. And the back side. are still a little moist so I'm gonna just let those dry before we apply them see if they work they should work and then I have this one I am going to go ahead and I've never made one this long this is six and three quarters inches long the back piece. Well, they're both six and three quarters, and this is um, two and an eighth, and this is one and three quarters. So I'm going to round the corners on these and ink them and fold them, and I'll be right back. 
So these have been, the corners have been rounded, inked, same thing, fold it over so a little bit is hanging off at the bottom here. One side is longer than the other. Fold and burnish. Get this piece. One side is hanging off a little bit more than the other. Fold and burnish. This is your back piece. So it's the back piece that has the Ma magnet the paper clip put the long side towards the back use your glue if you want to secure it i'm going to be using my black construction tape This is the front, this is the front. Then we're just going to be gluing this flap over this piece. Fold this over. Center it. This down. And then do the back. See how easy this is? Oh my gosh. And then the fun part is then you get to decorate it any way you want. And you're just using scraps. Just try to find scraps that you have that kind of somewhat go together. So now we have, we've made four of these in, gosh, not much time at all. These two have the long paper clips. These two have the short paper clips. So what you, and what I did, let me just show you what I did with this one. So here I made this long piece a lot longer than I did on here. So you can see this piece I didn't make as long as this. This one I made really long. Not sure why, but I did. And then once they're made, all you do is you get, um, some ribbon if you want if you want to put like a little pull tab here i put a little pull tab so i can put it on my paper so you you get this you got one side longer than the other slides on real easy and then you got a little pull tab to take it off which is the ribbon so you would just get some ribbon like on this one i hear some just a short scrap of of pink ribbon and you would put this down like this. So what I usually just do is score tape. I would put some score tape here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll put some score tape down and then get my ribbon on. I'm gonna mark it so I know how far down to put my score tape. So just to about right there on this side and right here on this side. So I'm gonna get my score tape and be right back. So got my score tape on. Um, I didn't exactly get it right in the center, but you get the idea. You just put the score tape down, get this, and then put your ribbon over it. Oh, I don't want it that high up. Let's see, where did I want it? About right, right there. Pull the score tape on the front. Then put 
ribbon over the score tape on the front. And now you have your little ribbon pole right there. But you need to decorate this front part to, to cover up this. This is not pretty there. So let me show you what I did. So like on this one, I put in the ribbon and then I just cut out another piece of um, cards, not cardstock, of designer paper and got a little sentiment. Put that there. On the back side of this, this ribbon, another piece of cardstock. Put this little sentiment and covered it up and then you, you've decorated. So all you need to do with this one is find something that you can put over here, over this and cover it up. So whatever you want to do, that's this one's basically ready to be decorated. And same thing with these, same thing. Get a scrap piece of ribbon, put it down. If you want that ribbon, put that down with your score tape and then just decorate the front of it like this so you've covered it up. And where's my other one? And here I used a smaller ribbon, this gold ribbon, and then I just covered it up with some more designer paper and a little sentiment. And then on the back side here, I just, here's the whole ribbon down here, put a little circle punch and then a little sentiment down here like that. So just cover up the ribbon any way that you want and it's going to look beautiful. So these are basically all ready to go. You just need to decorate them. Now, there is another way to make them that you're going to see. And this is the easiest way. You, you don't have to do anything but fold your paper. They're cut the same length and fold them. Now, if you want to do what some people do is they... <clears throat> I'll show you what they do. So with this, this way of method, you're going to cut, find two pieces of paper that you think go together, and you're going to have the front piece about an eighth of an inch shorter than this back piece. So let me go ahead and round these out and ink them. Okay, so I have these two pieces Corners rounded, ink, um, edges inked, same thing. Fold it so you got a little bit, uh, one side's longer than the other. Both of them, one side's longer than the other. Now, so your, your paper clip is going to go on so the back side like this. Now with this one, the way this is going to work, you are going to be making a little slit in this outer flap, you're going to mark where the paper clip is, and you're going to mark the edges. Where's my pencil? I went ahead and inked this edge right here so I could see the edge better. So when I cut it, I can see it better. So you're going to mark the edges of where the width of the paper clip is here. And here and so I can barely see right there and right there that's it's not in focus but it's right there and right there I'm going to get my little exacto nice knife and I'm going to cut right there so I'll be right back once I I do that cut so I did my little cut right here you can see that not sure why my, com my camera's not focusing, but I did that little slit right there. Put this away. Now, what is going to happen here, make sure I got the front. The paper clip is going to go through that little slit right there, and you're going to have that sticking out. Now, with this paper clip, you can have it sticking out as far as you want, um, depending how far you want it to come out. Some people like this design better, and what they do is they put a little ribbon in through that paper clip. So let me just put this little ribbon. I can 
twirl it in there. Put this little ribbon in through the paper clip. And then I like to pull my, my paper clip down once my ribbon's in, so I, it holds the ribbon in place. So then it would be something like this. So what, once you get it the way you want it, how far up or down you want your paper clip, I like to put the ribbon in and then pull it down so it catches that ribbon. Then I would put my black construction tape on my paper clip on the front side and go ahead and glue it. So let me pull that ribbon a little bit and I'm going to go ahead, hopefully I've been in frame, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this, get this straight, glue this top flap over. Make sure this is straight here. And then pull, you can see I did not, well, I guess that's pretty straight. that down and then go ahead and do the back side either use your glue or your black construction tape to hold that paper clip down and glue this top flap over again And then you, you can just pull your ribbon and cut cut it to the size you want it. And now you can have this ribbon like this. So this is another way you can do um, those hidden paper clips. And if you want, you can tie this so it's not opening up like that. So let's see, I've got one more to do. Same thing, this one's a little bit shorter than this one. We're gonna try that again. Fold this, have a little bit more reveal down here, fold it, burnish it. Fold this and burnish it. Go ahead and round the edges. Ink the inside so you can see where your line is, where you need to cut. And then ink the outside too. Get your paper clip. I'm going to, what should I use? Should I use a big one or a little? I'll use a little one this time. So this is going to be on the inside. Long side goes in the back. Same thing, we're, this is going to be a smaller slit. So we're going to put, let's see, make sure I got my front to front. Okay, going to measure where I need to make the slit in my paper, here to here. Get my X-Acto knife. I have my, my this edge ink so I can see. Gonna cut the slit. Get that paper clip to go through there. Bring it up to my eyes so I can see there it comes coming through. And get 
some ribbon. What ribbon do I want to use? Um, I've got a little bit of this red ribbon left. It's hard for me to see. So got it through my little loop. So bring this up and pull my paper clip down. Now go ahead and adhere my paper clip down with my black construction tape on the front. Glue it down, make sure I get this straight. Make sure this is lined up straight. Glue that down. Turn it over. You can see I, I, I did not center it very well, but you get the idea. Get my black construction tape one more time. Over the paper clip and go ahead and glue this top flap down. So now you have another paper clip with the with the paper clip sticking out and acting as a little holder for your your ribbon. And you can you can tie the ribbon if you want, uh, glue it, or do whatever you want with it. So that's those. Let me just show you some of the other ones I've done. So this one. Um, you can see the the paper clip there. I pulled it real tight, so it just kind of stays like that. So that's that one. This one I did not. I did not use a ribbon at all. I just left it plain, and I used um, just the the paper and put a little stamp there. So this one is like this. This one I used, I put the ribbon, tied it. You can see where the paper clip's sticking out here. And I just tied it like that. So that one is like this. Put this one down. These I made all the same length. And you can see when they're the same length, they're hard to put on. So. Let's see with our other ones. So here's one we made today. It's different length, so it's easier just to slip on different length. Get rid of these. This one we just made. This one's easy to slip on. This one we made today. I didn't put a ribbon on it. Haven't decorated it. Easy to slip on. These two we made today. I put the ribbon on and I just pulled some stuff I had from um, Savannah and just kind of decorated it like like this. So here's the, the sides a little bit longer. So it's, once again, easy to slip on. And then our last, let's see, this one we made today also. Here's the front. This one size a little bit longer. I just cut out some scraps that I had and put them on to cover that ribbon. So that goes on like that. And then this one we just made. So I will put that over like this. Easy, 
These are so easy to slip on. Once you have that little lip down there, oh my gosh, it's so easy to slip on. So it's like that. So those are the ones, these, these we made all today. Easy, easy to make. So I hope you got something out of it. The, the hardest part is decorating. The easy part is making them. So if you wanna decorate or just leave them plain, I think these, these two are gorgeous with nothing on them. They are just pretty unto themselves. So that's it for our easy, easy hidden paper clips. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.